Hey everybody, this is Troy from the Do-It-Yourself World. I've got my Vivor smelting furnace out today and everything I need, including my gold panning kit, a screen and a pan, and a shovel. And the reason is I'm going to make my own casting sand. Uh, my first time ever I'm going to melt some aluminum. And my first time ever, I'm going to make my own molds using sand from my own property. I've got to filter it out and, and screen it to the finest stuff I can get so that it works well. I'm going to show you what I'm going to use, what I'm going to melt. This old ladder is bent up really, really bad beyond usefulness. And it's not even useful for my Alaskan sawmill, which I had... Uh, originally hoped when I got it. So this today is going to be broken down into pieces and melted and poured into a mold. Make something useful out of it. Here is one ingredient of my uh, sand. Green sand is what it's actually called. Uh, Non-clumping cat litter. Natural clay. And that's the key. You want just pure bentonite clay. I'm just going to put some in here. I think it's a 3 to 1 clay to sand mixture. If I remember right, I'm going to have to go in and look at my recipe. And I'm going to put some in here and I'm going to add some water and let that work. I've watched various videos and I've seen uh, some success, some not, some failures and various feedback and um, results from using the homemade green sand. But what I have seen that I liked and I want to try is if you take, a lot of people put this in a blender, and basically they're going to rip up their blender to grind it into a super fine powder. But one person actually took and um, added water and uh, it became fine a powder it, it, on its own so I'm gonna see if that works for me uh, I'm just gonna add a tiny bit of water and work that a bit while I'm sifting out my sand see what happens weird light outside very strange light being outdoors um, see if I can get you a shot of that there we go um, I mixed it in with some water and I didn't make it too too wet just enough to mix it together and make it thicken up Oh yeah, I can feel it. Oh, it feels different already. Um, it does break apart. So, I'm not going to go overboard in water yet. I might hit it with some more later. But I know I want a semi-moist consistency in the final product. My sand will be dry, so my moisture is going to come from the clay. I might add just a tiny more water because that's going to... There's some drier spots in there. And that's going to um, absorb that water and expand. And I really want to make sure I get it all wet. Over here in my sandbox, I told my wife I'm going to go play in the big boy sandbox. And she said, what? This is where I get a lot of sand for different experiments and projects now. It started out as going to be a greenhouse. And uh, I never got the equipment for that. Boy... This is a problem. I did not count on it being that wet. This is not good. It rained all day yesterday. I don't know if this is going to work out for me because of how wet that is. If I can even sift it at all. This, yeah, this is a problem. This is really not good at all. I might have to find some sand somewhere else. This is so much better here because it's been in the sun. I've got to scoop off the top surface, but that's what I need. Down under it's wet. Hopefully I can get enough to do a casting. Yeah, that's sifting out. I know I'm going to need some moisture, but I don't want it too wet. So, I'm going to proceed to classify this out 
and I'm going to get a third of a bucket of sand and then I'm going to classify it again finer. I want really fine, probably 100 mesh so that I have some really good fine grain. I think that the finer the sand, the better your mold's going to be, the better your, your end product's going to be. I changed my mind on going with 100 mesh. That's too fine. I've got here a, a 50, which is about as fine as I'm going to want to go. And this screen here, a dryer vent actually, uh, appears to maybe be 25. I'm going to try the 50 and see how well it works for me. If it's too much, I'll go with the 25 dryer vent. This should work. Oh, yeah. Yeah, this is going to be okay. It's going to take me some time. A lot of time. But I'm going to get out all the chunks. I'm going to have a super, super fine sand for my molds. Wow. That's going to reject a lot. I might do a couple different batches. I'm going to experiment because that rejects almost everything. That is fine though. Boy, that is... Wow, that's fine. I think I'm going to use the vent. Um, the dryer vent. It filters out the, the bigger grains. Yeah, you can see the difference though. Wow. Hmm. You can see the difference. Much time has passed. I've got a system down. Working out for me quite well. I've got a pretty fine sand. It's it's a fine grain. It's a really nice fine grain. So I think it's gonna be alright for my first casting ever. I think it'll be alright. Um, what I'm casting doesn't have to be an absolute perfect uh, doesn't have to be an absolutely perfect uh, thing. I hope it turns out better than my speech. But uh I'm going to cast an aluminum flywheel for one of my experimental motor devices for my electronics shop. So that and maybe some coins and bars. I'm going to probably experiment with various ideas. If there's any left over in the crucible, I'm going to try to cast two flywheels and then whatever's left in the crucible I'll pour into a bar mold and maybe stamp them and give them away to my viewers and yeah, we'll see what's left in the crucible see how it goes but this takes time this takes considerable time it sure went faster with the first batch going into the big bucket but reprocessing it is uh, an incredibly slow thing that's why I'm not sure. I don't think I'm going to go 100 mesh. I think I'd be here all, all day just processing sand. And that brings me to wonder if buying sand is going to be way better just for time savings more than anything else. But what I don't like about the sand that I see that you can buy is it's oil based something on my neck. The sand you can buy is oil based and is a consumable and um, I don't really want all that being cast into the air and or burn off into the air all the oil burning and all the waste and I thought it'd be fun to try my own Although, I'll tell you what, if I was to do this on a larger scale, I'd make some kind of a machine or some kind of a bigger filtration system to do this. Which wouldn't be hard at all with a gas engine and a couple screens. Having my experience with gold panning and prospecting, and the equipment, 
I know exactly how I would do it. All right, well, I went with, uh, I finished the whole bucket, and there's the appearance of the 50 mesh, or the uh, um, probably 25 mesh. And then I went with 50 mesh into that, just one little scoop. It is fine. That's as fine as I would ever want to go. But that's taken way too long for me to deal with. So I'm, gonna, I'm not going to do that today. For casting a flywheel, that's going to need some work and trimming anyway. I think that's it. I think we are done here. So this will be my flywheel size. This is the exact size I'm going to have. I'll be able to um, counterbalance it, tap a hole in the middle. What I like is there's a little button right there in the middle of that, which is going to be perfect. I measured it's exactly dead center on here. I guess that's the casting hole in the plastic. But it's perfect dead center, and I'm hoping that will come through in my casting. So what I'm going to do, I've got a piece of wood sitting here, and I'm going to measure how big I need to make, let's say, three impressions. And I'm going to make a frame to hold the sand. I don't even need to be really that deep either, because this is just about as big as it's going to get. That's a perfect thickness as well. I mean, this is perfect through and through right here. Thickness, everything. So um, I want to make three of them. I'm just roughly estimating how big a frame I'm going to want. Well, there's the frame for the sand. And I should be able to very comfortably fit three of these in here along with spacing. It should be good to go. And I've got my sand and clay mix here. I hope I got enough. I don't know if the consistency is good. I don't know how much I got overall here. If I have enough, I need something to tamp that down. I might not have enough for this big a form. It's going to be a lack of sand, I think, in my case. So I might have to come back through and put a divider in here and only do two of these at one time. I just don't think I'm going to have enough sand to make this work. I don't think this is going to happen. Yeah, I'm going to have to subdivide this because not, it might actually be deep enough for me to put that in. I'm not liking the um, feel. It's pretty strong. It's going to pack nice and tight. It really is packing well, but what I'm not liking is how stiff it is to work with. Of course, again, I, as I said, this is my first time with anything, ever, so maybe that's normal, but from what I see on the videos, it should be softer than that. I moved to the cement floor, and I'll tell you what I did. I used a block of wood and a heavy hammer, and a two and a half pound hammer, and I beat that flat and tight, and then I set this in here, and I was experimenting. I've got a very long wooden dowel, and uh, what I'm doing now is putting the sand in around the form. I'm tamping it in. I'm trying to tamp it in up, up against the form. And what I'm going to end up doing is two separate forms here. i got a second one the exact same thing. I'll get two of them, but I won't get three. I need a smaller piece of wood. I might cut this on the saw. So what I really need is a good solid base right here. I need it really, really tamped in good against that frame. I almost need a bit of a smaller something for the back. It just barely fits in here. Hopefully it'll do the job. But I'll tell you what, making your own sand and your own molds is a very slow part of the process. Very slow. So this is going to take me some time. I'm going to go ahead and get this done. 
I'm really going to take my time and do it well. Because if I do a really good job, hopefully there won't be any ugly pockets or flaws in here when I'm done. And now I'm going to set this here and I'm going to set it with the hammer. I want to make sure that the bottom is smooth because whatever I have here is going to be what it looks like in the end. There's a little bit of a hole there. And if I have a perfect surface then there's less work I have to do later on in finishing. And again, start working up sand around it and then I'll tamp it down. Again, the biggest part of this job is getting the forms set up. I'll tamp that down with the rod in a minute, but it's harder to show on camera. It'd be cool if I get the little ridge lines that are on the uh, outside of this lid in the final product too. Curious to see how much detail I'm going to end up with with this, these forms when I'm done. Because they're plastic, I can't really put a lot of force on them. I'm also knocking down anything loose everywhere else, so if I do have any spill or overpour, I won't have a mess in the aluminum to deal with. Then I can take any anything left over and clean it up better. So yeah, I've got enough sand for two. I could have gone shallower in the mold as well and made three, but two is okay for my first time. Well, I'm going to finish this. Well, let's see if I did a good job. Oh, that looks all right. very very slow yeah I like it I think it's gonna be all right the only thing I don't see is the very center little dimple that I was hoping I would see but I can always find a center again later well that's good I'm gonna heat up this uh, furnace Oh, that's weird. Too much water in the mold, I think. Oh, my molds look perfect. That one actually held its shape when I pulled the aluminum out. This one here. I, I think that I've got setting the molds down. I can reuse this frame. And I've got to get the sand, the right amount of sand to do this. And I think I'll have a very, very good casting next time. Now I know as well, 
I've certainly got enough metal prepared to do two or three of these. So anyway, that's it for today. Please do like this video, subscribe if you haven't, because there is absolutely more of this exciting stuff to come.